making a salad for dinner. It's Ten twenty-six. I'm starving. I need to wash my kale. Last of my kale. I need to get food soon. So we got cauliflower, broccoli, kale, coleslaw at the bottom. I'm out of carrots. Man, I'm out of carrots. Well, let's get some ranch. Garlic salt, spice it up a notch. And a fork. Salad. Good, good stuff. All right, 12.37. Noon, and I don't even have the air conditioner on yet. Very nice, very nice. It was uh, up in the 80s the past couple days. Yes, house sitting day two. Going good so far. Don't think I'm going to bother putting those on now. I'm not... You know, the more I think about it, the more I'm just sick of RV parks always having all these conditions. But if I gotta pretty up my RV to get into a park, they don't deserve my money. I'll put that toward projects. RV doing good, needs a better bath. I got a rinse with the pressure washer a couple days ago, but I need to go get me a wash mitt and soap. I do want to still clean that. Wash it up really good and then start work on the roof. And eventually, the sides. Wonderful weather today. This is super nice. Cool. Slightly overcast. Where is the sun anyway, right there? Looks like it'll come back out soon. I can't really look up at that. How are these horses doing? They got some salt licks. Some salt blocks. Some big ol' salt, salty treats. Salty treat for the horse? Yes. Precious horses. I don't know what they're hanging out in here for. We got the gates open. I mean, they definitely have been out. But if I were you horses, I'd be out in the fields. All day long. Bamboo's doing good. I moved it over here out of the shade. This is my potted bamboo, uh, offspring from the big one. Finally looking less yellow. I like that bamboo. I've already mentioned that plant has come with me from high school. And uh, it's just a sentimental plant. I like to check up on it, make sure it's good. Took the big one, the mother mother bamboo the bigger bamboo planted it out here so it can be out in the wild and it is doing pretty dang awesome I'm happy to see it finally sh taking off like crazy making a little zen garden over here eventually yeah, look at that. It's up to my, it's up to my nose. I think it's getting tall. Oh, there's some fresh shoots right there, boy. That's these came up uh, pretty quick. These are these are new. Thing is definitely taking off. Come down here from time to time and give it a little water. Though I planted it right on a spring. This area always stays kind of wet, even during the hot parts of summer. So it's got a good spot. And then the little one, I'm gonna take with me. Whenever I find my property, I've mentioned. Uh, I've mentioned getting some land in the past, but 
the more I looked into that, the more I realized what I can afford is going to be just a an acre out in the middle of nowhere. No internet. That's all I really need. Um, so I can wait. I'm just going to save up. I'm going to have to make that a, I don't know, five to ten year goal or something. Save up till I can get something closer to town with cell phone service and yeah, I was looking at places out and I was having to go out to New Mexico or Arizona. Basically out in the desert. There's nothing around here that's cheap enough. There's it'll be a long time before I can afford that, so we're just gonna be boondocking, working at the ranch, and saving up. We'll get it one day. Base camp and a shop, place to work on more RVs. Okay, now it's getting a little too hot. Let's close it up. Put in the insulation. Full blast. Still need to fix that choke. I'll be coming up here. That's a project I got on my list. Just taking a look at the walls and thinking about what I'm going to do about that and going up to the roof and showing you guys what it's looking like up there. It was pretty grungy before I pressure washed. I mean, that's, that's grungy, but it was really bad. Really black, a lot of, a lot of stuff growing. Boy, look at that view, that is pretty awesome. See, I'm not looking too good splitting right there and there's bare wood so that's only a matter of time before that leaks there's just oh it's just really bad in that corner so yeah this patch this wood is probably it could be getting moisture from the shower too it's not completely sealed on the other side maybe it should just be sealed better so i guess i could get away with just tearing this off doing that one again yeah these are not bad I don't know I also really want to do a rough job it would just I think it would just entail pulling off the accessory or the vents and the solar panels and the vent my Wi-Fi antenna corner still just as bad as it always was it's just this patch it looks like yeah I don't, I don't think that's too bad got my dishes done and I think I'm going to take a trip into town at least to get my mail maybe a couple things of food I can last I can last a few more days mail mail is a little more important and get, uh, get some stuff so I can finish a project. All right, the converter is unplugged. Switch on the inverter. Power it. Everything's put up. Cabinets tied down. Things tied down. Okay. I checked oil as well, and that is right where I left it. Just about. I still think I have a little bit of a leak. I just uh, 
have not really it's it's very slow if anything I can't tell if it's a fresh I think we're doing pretty good definitely uh nothing to worry about I'll just let it eat up a little oil is looking good I mentioned uh, as like a worst case scenario using the rusty as a like a camper truck if I had to sell patches I if I said if or I meant if if all else fails I think is what I said I mean yeah if the RV breaks in half I'm gonna get something else but no patches is patches is great she's gonna she'll be with the show forever even as a broke down RV, I'll use her for something. But no, things are good. I was just talking out loud. Or I was thinking out loud. I'm all tired. All right. Whoops, got to shut down my PC. There you go. Already got some groceries. Uh, just a few things. I don't need too much. Some burrito shells and veggies. Might go back in for broccoli. It was looking kind of scarce and I decided to skip it here at Winko. So I'll hop over to Walmart and see what they got. But uh, yeah, this right here is the first time in the past three months I have not seen the same exact RVs parked here. They straight up made a home out of this parking lot. It was pretty cool actually to see that they weren't getting asked or bothered to leave during the all the stuff with the pandemic. I have a feeling they were getting some leniency because of that. So anyway, I uh, got also picked up my mail, groceries, probably hit one more store for broccoli. I wanna stop at the hardware store, get some chain. What else do I got on my hand? Mail, chain, food. And get, uh, just thinking about stopping in a Goodwill and seeing about getting some new shoes. These are my work shoes, and it's the only pair of shoes I'm willing to use around the ranch. I've got a couple, I got some 
I got a few pairs of nice shoes. I just don't like ruining them. They're too nice. So I need some way around the, the ranch work type shoes. All right, let's go see what Walmart's got. Oh, there goes that thing. I got grabbed a picture of that over at Winco. Check my Instagram. Oh, pump's going. Just like a shoot. 12.5, yeah, that thing draws a lot of power. Plus, I got my DVR going, my cameras. Just seeing how they do with uh, little, little short trips in between the stores here. Maybe I'll pull some footage off of them. Shopping is done, got some food, got my mail, skipped out on shoes and skipped out on chain. I might have some old chain somewhere, I just want a better way to lock up my driver door. You can... It doesn't shut very well, I'm just going to chain it shut. I had a bicycle chain, a uh, bicycle cable I used to do that with, but um, I used that to lock up my back generator. So anyway, got the important stuff, food, mail, Let's go back, finish a project. Oh, I got a storage unit picked out too. So yeah, let's get back home. Or get back to the ranch, do some more house sitting.
the ranch, I'm back to babysitting, house sitting, ranch sitting. Park a little further from that tree. So it's a little hard to get this thing level here. Yep, good job, good job. Patches is doing awesome. She's ready for some boondocking. I was sitting in the parking lot just thinking, it'd be nice to just stay there. Boy, this road. Um, but, a few more things left to do before we get out of here and get back on the road. I've got a storage unit picked out now. So, that'll be the next step. Is, this thing's so heavy, I, I can't wait to get some of the stuff out of it. Plans are coming along. Wait on parts for another project. We've got another project after that. Stay tuned, lots coming up. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.